Good afternoon. The permanent side believes that alcohol is basically the same as civil rights. That's what they're comparing it to. However, what, as professors stated, their right to get plastered should not be the same as their civil rights and duties. So, if anything, alcohol should be compared to something such as cigarettes. Cigarettes are just as dangerous as alcohol. That's why states are moving up the smoking age from to what the drinking age is now, 21. Dan Patella, an author for, uh, a writer for the Tribune News Service in Chicago, Illinois, says that uh, Chicago saw a 36% decline in cigarettes and e-cigarettes used among 18 to 20 year olds after raising the legal age to 21. If cigarettes are bad, and they are, they're just like alcohol is, because they all have the common effects on your health, such as causing cancer, why are we going to lower one but raise the other? Some disadvantages to lowering the drinking age can cause health problems early on, harm to others is created when people under 21 drink, harm to ourselves when we drink underage, and alcohol has a direct correlation to death, and lowering the drinking age will increase these numbers. So my first point that lowering the drinking age causes health problems. Chronic drinking may result in peptic ulcers. According to the Ian Hills, the author for In Invitation to Health, which is a textbook we use here at Cal Poly to teach the Nutrition 2030 classes, states that chronic drinking may result in peptic ulcers, which is the breaking of the stomach lining, leading and from the stomach lining. She also states that more than 2 million Americans have alcohol-related liver diseases such as alcoholic, hepatitis, and cirrhosis of the liver. She goes on to state that overall passive current drinking may contribute to about 10% of all cancer cases in men and 3% in women. Alcohol consumption can be specifically implicated as a cause of cancer of the oral cavity, larynx, pharynx, esophagus, liver, colon, rectum, pancreas, and the female breast. David E. Nelson who writes for the American Journal of Public Health, said that 15% of breast cancer death among women in the United States may be attributed to alcohol consumption. Alcohol also has its effect on the brain. Alcohol causes, according to Hill, alcohol causes impaired perception, diminished sensation, altered senses, impaired motor skills, such as driving and other abilities using your muscles, and less impulse control. A high-resolution neuroimaging scans have shown that chronic alcohol misuse damages white matter in the areas of the brain that are involved in the brain's reward system. Catherine B. Fortner, who writes in the Alcoholism Clinic and Experimental Research, shows that these networks are essential for controlling impulsive behavior and drinking. Longer and heavier alcohol abuse is associated with greater damage. Hale also points out that adolescents who drink regularly show impairment in their neurological and cognitive functioning. It even, alcohol even affects the cardiovascular system. Heavy drinking triggers the release of harmful oxygen molecules called free radicals, which can increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. Alcohol can also weaken the heart muscle directly, causing a disorder called cardiomyopathy. And alcohol has been shown to interfere with the body's ability to recover when sick and increases the chances of bacterial pneumonia and flu sufferers. To the second point that alcohol harm creates harm for others when it's consumed by people under the age of 21. Uh, one, being sexual assault, two, being injury. Uh, Hale states that 20% of undergraduate women reported some type of completed sexual assault since entering college. Most occurred after women voluntarily consumed alcohol. A few occurred after they were unknowingly given a drug in their drinks. Health also shows that heavy alcohol use can endanger both drinkers and other secondhand, pro secondhand problems caused by other alcohol use include loss of sleep, interruption of studies, assault, vandalism, and unwanted sexual advances. My third point, uh, alcohol causes self-harm. Uh, Hills shows that uh, students that drink are more likely to fall behind in schoolwork, miss class, have lower GPAs, and face suspension. And uh, they even have bodily injuries to themselves when consuming alcohol. Because more than, as Hills points out, more than 30% of college drinkers have been injured as a result of drinking. They also are more likely to cause injury to others, to have a car accident, 
suffered burns or a fall serious enough to require medical attention. Emergency treatment for alcohol-related injuries can be more than half a million dollars a year at schools with 40,000 or more students. And to my fourth point, alcohol has a direct correlation to debt, and lowering the drinking age will increase these numbers. Hales points out that each alcohol attributes to cancer results in about 18 years of potential life loss. She also goes on to say that approximately 30% of deaths occur among people who drink less than three drinks per day. <coughs> Drinking uh, claims 100,000 lives each year, which is the third leading, leading cause of death after tobacco use and improper diet and lack of exercise. Hills points that the leading alcohol-related cause of death is injury. Alcohol plays a role in almost half of all traffic fatalities, half of all homicides, and a quarter of all suicides. Young drinkers, teens, and those in their early 20s are the highest risk of dying from injury, mostly car accidents. About 300,000 of today's college students will eventually die from alcohol-related causes, including drunk driving, accidents, cirrhosis of the liver, and various cancers and heart disease. Thank you.